What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good evening, and uh, welcome back to, uh, to to an update on Quant uh, on this uh, on on this beautiful day in which we got a lot of fundamentals. Uh, obviously, and and I have to make this disclaimer. I'm making this disclaimer for every video I'm making, like maybe for the next 24 hours. Uh, very volatile day because of some huge fundamentals, uh, some sort of a fight, I guess you could call it, between Binance and FTX, causing uh, FTX to, to basically crumble. And right now, uh, about an hour ago, there was actually some news, uh, which is 100% confirmed, that Binance is acquiring FTX, which is uh, very bullish again. So you can also see throughout the market that that's seen as uh, relatively bullish. First, I quickly wanted to grab your attention from a new partner, Bing X. Bing X is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges out there. It's 100% legit and you have a lot of cryptos to trade and buy. And apart from that, if you sign up right now through the link down in the description, you get a 10% off all transaction fees forever and you can get up to a $125 bonus for free. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. As you can see right here. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty bullish, but Quant altogether, and, and why I think it's interesting to take a look at Quant, first of all, it's an amazing project. Second of all, I know there's a big community of Quant holders uh, in, in the community, also in Discord. So if you're interested in that, make sure to, uh, make sure to join that. Um, so, so, so that's all true. But Quant is also interesting because, um, yeah, today we suffered because of the bearish fundamentals, but altogether Quant has been suffering since like the 21st of October. Uh, if, if, even starting like like since the middle of, Octo of, Octo of October, excuse me, uh, we've been in a downtrend. Uh, this is no longer like a like a, a bullish flag. This is really a downtrend. It's it's a reversal which we got here, and um, you must know that I'm still very bullish on on quant, but uh, this is just the way it is. Um, so even though we got bearish fundamentals, quant is arguably still uh, bearish. I bought some here from 150 just for like the the, the semi long term. Because I think it's a great entry price, and I think at some point we will actually get up again. But for now, um, it, it it really is about seeing when that will happen. And the main thing you need to to take a look at for that is uh, is is when do we actually break above a significant resistance level? So right now I actually expect Quant to 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 be bullish, but will still overall overall will still be bearish as long as we don't break above 160 because you can see not only the trend line but altogether the, the bearish indicators really pile up on 160. so we'll probably get up there and if we then find resistance and drop back down to like 145 and 150 um then probably we will also drop down all the way to 130 and then at 130 we'll, we'll try to try again to uh, break above the the resistance level above us which is most, most significant at that point of time which right now i mean we're not sure which one that's going to be um, so the main thing is for, for Quant, if, if, if we actually, which as I said in the beginning as well, I do expect at some point that Quant is going to be bullish again. Uh, in the end, it is an amazing project and it has an amazing uh, community behind it. It just lost some momentum and, and it's retracing a little bit. That's also healthy. Um, but yeah, so, so if, we, if we want to be bullish at this point of time, now that we're at this support at 145 or 150, what we need to do is, uh, is is we need to break above 160. We don't need to do that immediately. We could also do something like this and, and then get up there, find resistance and then break above that. But if we break above 160, then we can actually uh, get up to, to 173, uh, probably consolidate for a while, but then after that bullish breakout, the market structure has changed. So, so then we can actually start thinking and talking about uh, breaking above 173 and, and like starting a new rally. But um, as I said, it is also very well possible that we drop down to 130 first before we can actually uh, uh, try something like that. So uh, yeah, obviously due to the volatility of the fundamentals right now, I, I cannot give you a clear prediction of this is going to happen. Um, but yeah, this, this is a full analysis of basically the, the, the two scenarios which, which are going to happen. It's, it's either going to be this or that. Uh, so either we're going to stay on top of 145 break above 160 or 145 is going to break and we'll drop down to 130. So that's my take on quant this evening. Uh, if you do have any questions left, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.